Hey there guys and gals, welcome back to the OM617 conversion series on YouTube, brought to you by Doomsday Diesel. Today, we're going to be going over how to install these motor mounts. So when you order a set of motor mounts from Doomsday Diesel, this is what you get in the mail. Just a welded steel bracket. If you're wondering how this attaches to the frame rail, it's simple. You use a factory Toyota rubber isolator. That's this guy here. For about $10 on Rock Auto. This steel plate should be with your truck. If it's not, you'll have to go to Toyota and order a new one for about $22. This just slides over top, like so. And this slides in here. And the nut goes on there. Holds it on like so. This side goes to the frame rail. This side goes to the engine. So once you get everything stripped off the engine, this plate goes right on here. Nothing goes behind it. Nothing goes in front of it. Just the motor mounts by themselves. You can reuse the nuts that came with the motor. Get those started on there. 17 millimeter socket takes care of those. Once you get those all tightened, you're done. This nut here on the rubber isolator is usually going to be an 18 millimeter. When we look in the engine bay, we'll see we have these motor mount perches coming off the frame rails. That's where these rubber isolators sit, and this dowel pin goes to the bottom. You'll also notice on the steel cap, there's a hole in the bottom of it. That hole goes to the bottom. That sits on there, then you have a bolt that goes through the top and a nut on the back side. The way I recommend installing these is you bolt the motor mount to the engine, loosely place this rubber isolator in here so it can float around a little bit. Then when you set the engine down, this will find home because there's little tabs here on the bottom for it to slide down and stop against. Then you can place your bolts in here and then you can lastly tighten this up. And that's all there is to it. Were you wanting a longer video? Sorry. That's literally how simple these motor mounts are for the 1617. So, happy wrenching!